hi and welcome back to another video my name is castellin and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i braid my own hair so i'm starting off with freshly washed hair i purposefully did not blow dry my hair because i'm trying to avoid heat and you know how salon aunties are always trying to convince you that your hair is not straight enough to be braided it can be braided sis don't heat damage your hair for no reason parting is a bit difficult for me that's why i did it off camera because i was working with two mirrors and the angles it was just a lot what i did simply was to part the hair and then start braiding my own natural hair stopping about halfway through and then i'll be adding the braiding hair on top of that using a crochet the braiding hair that i'm using is actually two types um for the braid itself i'm going to be using the abuja it's just a plain straight braid and the hair that i'm using to leave out is this deep long wave by darling it has that nice curly effect when handling this hair you need to have some type of hair food or oil to rub it on it to prevent freezing while parting so i just use the backrest of my seeds to store the parted hair starting off with the halfway braided hair makes it a lot easier to maneuver the crochet so i just insert the crochet at the base of the braid and then loop it on the hair close the latch and then pull it over to the other side so this will be my base hair to just avoid the knot at the bottom when you're braiding the hair once you pull out the hair on the other side you're going to separate a bit of hair from each of the two strands and this will be holding on to your own hair and then you can continue braiding as per normal so just i separated a bit of hair from each side just a little bit and then from the other side as well so that i can be able to continue the braid all the way down i find this method of braiding uh, a lot faster than the traditional method for me and it also helps to avoid that huge bulge at the bottom of the braid when the hair is not stretched out like this like it's still in its natural state it might bulge out of the braid so you have to really apply a bit of pressure to make sure that it smoothens out with the braid like you can see the hair literally disappears into the braid if you apply enough pressure so this is the second braid i'm just showing the same process again just parting a bit of hair from each side and then what is in the middle is going to be attached to your natural hair and then you can continue braiding down and here also i'm going to be showing you how i attach the wavy hair now to the actual braid so it's pretty simple you just take a single strand of the wavy hair attach it to the point where you have reached on the braid and then leave out half of it and the rest of it you can simply just work it into the rest of the braid From the front you can be able to see the hair that I left hanging out and then I'm braiding the rest of it into the braid all the way down and once I reach the end of the braid I'm just going to be making a small knot because I'm not going to be dipping the hair in hot water so the knot just prevent the braid from fraying. And this is what the braids end up looking like in the beginning it was a bit difficult but once i got the rhythm of the hand movements i was able to move much faster and this is after i had done like a third of the way and you can see the length is slightly towards the lower back so i was just checking real quick how it was turning out and i really liked the results so far so i was able to start moving a lot more faster you may notice that the parts are not really even this is because one i'm parting my own head i can't see and second i don't really mind like having an even parts i was trying to get the box braid shape but some parts were triangular some parts were rectangular and it's just fine so once i got to the middle part of my head i started leaving out both ends of the braiding hair and this is just to get more volume on this area so what i did to achieve this is pretty similar to what i was doing in the back however the difference was once i attached the curly hair and left out half of it i continued braiding a little bit then pulled out the other half the curly hair really stands out from the straight hair like it doesn't blend completely so you are still able to separate it once you are a little bit further down the braid So 
so this is the point where i decided to attach the curly hair so i just attached it to the point where i had reached in the braid and then clip the rest of it out of the way that is the half that is going to be left out from this point and then continued braiding further down and once i reached a point where i was ready to leave out the other half i just pulled it from the braiding hair and then braided the rest of the straight hair by itself And that is how I ended up with two strands hanging out from the same braid. I only used one piece of the curly hair but left it out in two separate parts of the braid and then knotted the end of the braid. Now one thing about me when it comes to braids is I love volume but I don't like the weight of braids. Having a lot of braids on my on my head just is, is, is not my portion, it's not for me. So that's why I found this style to be pretty suitable. The curly hair, I didn't have to use a lot of it. I didn't even finish a full pack of it but I still managed to get the volume. And for the straight hair, normally when I go to the salon they tell me I need to use like five or six packs. And for this style, I only ended up using three and a half packs of the straight hair. Actually, a little bit less than a half of the straight hair. So I found it really convenient. When it came to the top part of my head, I had to switch out the technique a little bit. Now for the top part of my head, I wanted to have a bit more volume so I can be able to do a middle part. So instead of moving further down the braid before attaching the curly hair, I was attaching it much closer to the root so I can have a bit more volume towards the root because the hair is supposed to have a lot of volume. So attaching the curly hair closer to the root also brings more volume to the top so you don't end up with like a flat head or it end up looking like an airstrip. So as you can see the leave out hair is much more closer to the scalp at this point and this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the braids in the top part of my head. And this is me realizing that I only had two braids left. I was so happy because at this point, the arms were arming. I was getting tired, but I powered through the last two braids and the style was done.
So to finish off the hair, since I didn't need to dip it in hot water, I just cut off any excess strands that were too long to make it more even and I was pretty happy with the results. The volume was just exactly the way I wanted it to be.